वेलकम टू कोड विद विनोद इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट जेंगो प्रोजेक्ट विद हेलो वर्ड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल क्रिएट आवर वर्चुअल एनवायरनमेंट सो एवरी टाइम वी हैव टू क्रिएट एनी प्रोजेक्ट इन साइड दिस सेपरेट वर्चुअल एनवायरनमेंट सो वर्चुअल एनवायरनमेंट विल कीप ऑल द पाइथन रिलेटेड डिपेंडेंसी इन द वर्चुअल एनवायरनमेंट सो लेट्स से वी हैव इंस्टॉल सम लाइब्रेरी इन वन फॉर वन प्रोजेक्ट सो इट शुड नॉट इंटरेक्ट विद सेकेंड प्रोजेक्ट लेट से वी हैव इंस्टॉल सम लाइब्रेरी लेट से वर्जन वन इन द फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट सो इन सेकेंड प्रोजेक्ट वी आर रिक्वायरिंग फॉर वर्जन टू सो इट शुड बी आइसोलेटेड सो दैट्स वाई वी विल यूज वर्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट सो हाउ वी विल क्रिएट वर्चुअल इन्वायरमेंट सो आई विल यूज पाइथन हाइपन एम V E N B then our virtual environment name so we can give any name let's say my test virtual E N V so it will take some couple of second so now let's see. Our virtual environment is created. So now we will activate this. So copy this. Then scripts. Then activate. So we have to use this command. So every time, uh, so my, our virtual environment is activated. so now we will install the django inside our virtual environment so we will use pip install django so it is getting install so now django is install so to create so let me clear it so to create django project we will use django admin so it is also a command line utility thing django admin start project so we have to type this then project name my test project django so we can give any name so our project is created ls so this project is created now we will create the application so application is must so one application is at least one application is required so let me go inside this project first and then i will create the app so we will use the same uh, command django admin so this time we will use start app not project so my test app django okay this is spelling mistake so now we have created our app as well so let me open this project on code visual studio code editor so for this i will use code space dot enter so it will automatically open my project in the visual studio so now we can see we have our project here uh, my test app django so this is the app app and this is the project directly so and this is the manage.py file as we have uh, discussed in earlier video so first of all let me open, open the terminal and we will use url so url is this so let me 
so with the help of python manage dot py we will try to run the server run server so django gives us the this for uh, it's a by default uh, means server to test the project on local so let me test so in the in the first page it will show us django is successfully installed and now we want to uh, print our hello world so for this we need to map our application inside the project directory url so for this i will import this module include and i will include the application so let me copy the same and paste here so in this case it is uh, by default it is mapping the admin uh, interface page but i will map our app as well so let me i am giving nothing here because i want to uh, open my app app uh, page as a default i will show you how so using the include i will uh, catch our app so my app name is my test app django so my test app django dot url so url file will not create uh, uh, automatically in the project directory so we need to create this url dot py and let's check and then so automatically it will refresh here so here it will give us the error does not appear to the pattern variable it's not a valid valid so what we will because in the app url we have not written and anything so let me copy the same but i will remove this because it is not required and it is also not required so let's say I am giving up my URL name is say home so I have given here my URL name home and then I will import from dot views I will import home function but we have not created home as well so let me give home here and let's save it and check what is the issue so it is saying dot cannot import the home from this views because we have not creating anything inside the views so we will create home function so we will use def home then we will give the request so it is the required parameter and for practice purpose or we can say for demonstration in i am uh, creating the simple uh, home page so in this case we need to import django.http uh, import http response so we will give some response so return response hello world so now it will not give the error so this is the http response it's a library to give a uh, kind of http based response so let's go on browser and refresh so here we have given our home page name home so let's give home so we can see hello world so thanks for watching so in the next video we will go in deep inside the django so thanks for watching